Hello everybody, thank you so much for stopping by my channel. My name is Jasmine, aka Budget Treasures, and on today's video, we are going to be stuffing our homework sinking funds, and I am gonna be showing you guys how I cut my cash tray. So before we get started stuffing our cash envelopes, go ahead and take a look at the process. All right, you guys, so a lot of you asked me how to cut this cash tray. So this is my cash tray and I am cutting the front part off because um, I no longer want it there. Can you turn that over? So if you guys know, this is how it looks. Um, this is my brother and he had cut off the coin part and now we're gonna cut off this part right here. Okay, so say hello. 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 <laughs> say hello. hello. <laughs> That's my buddy. This is his daughter. A lot of you guys say that this is my daughter and this is actually my niece. Um, so can you let everyone know what tools you'll be using? I am just using a square to make sure it's a clean cut or a precise cut. I'm marking it with a sharpie. I'm going to do both sides and then I'm going to draw a line and then I'm going to use this table saw that I installed into this workbench to make sure it's a straight cut. All right, so that is what it is, guys, a table saw. I don't know if you guys know where to get that from, but, oh, okay, well, where did you get yours from? <laughs> oh, uh, I actually got it off OfferUp, but you can get them from like Lowe's or Home Depot or um, a vendor like that. Now, is it worth it to go buy this just to cut a cash tray? No. <laughs> it is not worth it just for a cash tray, but I do a lot of other stuff. So I built this workbench specifically so that I can do a lot of uh, maintenance stuff around the house and stuff like that. All right, ladies. So maybe if your man, your husband, your father, your um, sibling has one of these, then they can help you guys out with it. Otherwise, um, I don't know how everybody else cuts theirs, but this is how I cut mine. So I'm just going to go ahead and... Um, just gonna look at the process. So guys, we're also going to be adding this spray paint back on my cash tray. So remember, the first cash tray that I had gave away, if you don't remember, you can probably out plug the video, but I didn't like the way that it came out and then it grew on me and I actually like it a lot. So I am going to be spray painting this on there again. And I just basically got this from Lowe's um, and it's a glitter gold. I think you guys can see it. The camera is not focusing. There we go. Kinda. So it's a glitter gold. And we are going to be making our tray cute. And it's really easy to take these things off of the tray. He's using a screwdriver or yeah, but really you can just squeeze it out actually. and it takes about two to three hours to dry and so I will show you guys the finished product 
thank you so much to my brother uh, Stephen. If that is that what you want to be called? <laughs> All right, guys. Here is the finished product. I'm not sure if you can see it well. I hope you can see it well, actually. I'm super de duper excited about this cash tray, you guys. I'm really happy that I decided to revamp it, to bring it kind of back to life, to make me excited about using it because I wasn't excited about using it anymore. I was like, okay, I'm over it. But now I'm excited about it again. So this is the result of the cash tray. We're not gonna use it today because I am only stuffing $50 bills. Actually, I'm stuffing $50 bills and $20 bills. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get started with stuffing our homework sinking funds. First, let me tell you guys, thank you so much for being here um, you know, with me during this journey. Um, if you are just now uh, tuning in, I want to explain to you guys what the homework sinking funds is all about. I am in the process of purchasing a new home. My home is being built and I will be moving soon. You guys, it's starting to get surreal, like surreal. I do my final walkthrough in less than 30 days and I will be closing on my home in less than 30 days and I am just overjoyed. I can't believe it. You guys have been with me on this journey from the very beginning and I'm, oh, I'm trying not to shed a tear right now on this camera and I'm not going to. So let's keep going before I start crying. Um, whoo, I'm sorry guys. Sorry, 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 um, mm. it's been a journey, you guys, and I just never, ever, ever thought that this is something that, um, that, uh, that I would have been able to do. Um, I'm sorry. It, um, you know, when I was like 19 years old, it was either 19 or 20, um, I had told myself that I would never own a home. Um, I'm sorry. It just became surreal for me doing this video and um that we are close to the end and I can't believe that this is something um that's real and it's true and um and it's here and I just thank God for his just thank God you know he, he makes things possible and when this came about I wasn't ready for it um, I, it, you know, I was told in a month, you're going to have to move and we're going to get you a house. And, um, you know, it was a roller coaster, but it's happening and I just thank God for it. And, um, let me get myself together. You guys, hold on. Okay, I just want to keep going. I, I don't want this video to be long, but, you know, thank you guys so much for, you know, rocking with me. Um, thank you so much for uh, just being here and following my journey. And I hope that somebody was able to watch this video and know that you can do it too. Um, you know, I don't make a whole lot of money. Um, I guess transparent moment. I probably make like 70 seven like less than eighty thousand from my job but you know i've been very blessed um i really began to see the money that i made once i started buckling down and getting rid of my debt and saving my money paying my bills on time building my foundation um and just really staying focused and believing in myself and knowing that i can do it and while my friends and everybody else uh was out you know shopping up a storm and 
doing the things that they do going out and taking trips and all of those fun things that I love to do I decided to do something different and I decided to hang back I decided to stay focused on my goals whenever I felt vulnerable I took a look at my savings whenever I felt vulnerable I looked at my budget whenever I felt vulnerable I looked up a, at a video um, just to get myself back in the space that what I'm doing is for a reason and I didn't know that God was setting me up to buy a house I just knew I was tired of robbing people Peter to pay Paul. I didn't know that he was like 2020. Um, you gonna get your first piece of property? Well, 2021, but you know, I didn't know that he was laying the foundation. And let that be a word for you. I didn't really mean to go here on this video, but um, for everybody who was thinking that you can't do it, you can do it. You have to be focused. You have to be um, really looking at your goal and really be determined and disciplined to be able to make it happen. If you need to look at my videos, I mean, every time it might seem like I'm happy that I'm saving all this money, but sometimes I get into low spots where I'm not happy. I'm not excited. I do go on social media and I see people doing things. I see my friends buying stuff. I see them with new cars. I see, you know, all these things and I just got a Toyota Corolla Camry. Sorry, not a Corolla, a Toyota Camry, which I love my Camry now. Don't get it twisted. But I had to get comfortable in my own skin and comfortable in my own situation and just know that God is going to take me to a place where I just didn't even imagine. And this is one of those places, being a homeowner. So with that being said, let's go ahead and start stuffing these envelopes. <laughs> All right, guys. So like I said, we are winding down 100%. <laughs> and so let's see what we have um, less left yes I am stuffing um, copy money today um, because I didn't go to the bank but I really I did do the transfer I just need to get these stuffed okay so first we're gonna stuff first month bills remember our first month bills envelope is for whenever we need to um well when i move in i'm going to need to turn things on and this is for the activation fees if any that i have to um, use the goal is 500 we're going to add 50 today and that is going to be a total of 450 dollars let's count what we have one two three 20, 40, 50, 4, 450. So this is $450 in this envelope. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, you guys. Uh, this is my first time ever crying on YouTube. <laughs> oh my goodness. Next is groceries. Our groceries envelope is full. I am super excited about that. We completed this envelope with $500. Let's make sure it's all still here and that somebody didn't come steal it from me. <laughs> 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, 91, This is our real money. Nobody stole from me. Thank God I live with people where I don't have to watch my back. You ever lived in a household like that? All right, moving expenses. Okay, here's the story about my moving expenses, you guys. I did call a mover. And he said that I was going to have to pay, he said, between four and $600. So the good thing is that we already have the $400. We're going to add $50 today, which is uh, good. So we're right on track here. Um, first, he was going to charge me $950. But I had to work some things out and cut out one of the locations that he was going to have to pick me up from or pick up my stuff from, which is here where I live. What I'm going to do is just take whatever needs to go with the mover. I'm going to move it to the storage. So all he has to do is go to the storage and then go to my house. That knocked off $400. <laughs> so 
I'm moving the stuff from here. So total is 100, 200, 300, 320, 340, 350, 400, and 450. Yeah, I had to work it out, y'all. At first, I was like, okay, I'll go ahead and pay the 950. And then I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Let's think about this for a minute. So the inspection, um, guess what you guys? So one thing that you probably don't know about me and my life <laughs> is that my dad is a contractor and I am actually gonna have him to do the inspection. And I asked him if he wanted me to pay him. He said no. So my inspection is gonna be done for free. So thank God for that. Um, some of you probably are wondering like why didn't I just think about that in the first place that is because I didn't know that my dad can do the inspection but I was talking to him the other day and he was already you know how dads do with their daughters he's like well what's what that look like and why, why, why that's like that and I'm like daddy I don't know why that's like that <laughs> so anyway um he's gonna come with me on the walkthrough and he told me that he does inspections and I had no idea I mean I didn't know so he's gonna be doing that for me so the money that we have here which is 375 I'm actually gonna move this to another envelope I don't know which envelope right now I'm gonna move it to um, probably the moving envelope since that's one of the most um, pressing envelopes right now or I might well and sorry not or I'm gonna move some here and then I'm probably gonna move some to the kitchen envelope all right next is home goods and our home goods envelope is actually oh yeah that's what it is it's for things that you need you know when I make those target runs and I'm getting cleaning products and I'm getting you know just a little stuff like that around the house um, that is what this envelope for is for. Currently, I have $135 in here. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 135. And I'm actually going to add $20 to this one. Okay, all right. So this is going to be 155 Yeah. Um, I do not have any, you know, like Target gift cards or anything like that, but I'm definitely going to be soliciting them from my friends. Yes. Home savings envelope. This envelope is for my bedding. Um, and right now we have $411 in this envelope. Um, I did receive gift cards for Christmas. I received two Mace, three Macy's gift cards. So I'm gonna use my Macy's gift cards to buy my bedding. I almost bought some bedding. Um, they have like a luxury, what is it, what is it called? It's a, it's a hotel luxury line and I almost bought bedding from there but it's white and so I was like I don't know so I don't know and then also I decided to wait until I move because you guys if if you saw this room okay it's not that big and I have like a lot of stuff in here and so I'm like I'm not trying to add another something so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna figure out which one I want and when I move then I'll go and buy all the bedding so I'm not gonna add anything to this because I have gift cards and they total up to about $200 I think. So with this and the 200, I think I'll be good. 100, 200, 300, 350, 370, 375, 380, 385, 390, 395, 396, 397, 398, 399, 400, 401, 402, 403, 404, 405, 406, 407, 408, 409, 410, 411. So all the money is there. Uh, 
And then next is the kitchen envelope. So here in the kitchen envelope, I was not stuffing it after I had purchased my pots and pans. But one of you guys um, gave me a really good suggestion, which was to continue to add to the kitchen envelope because you said um, that there's some things that I'm probably not even thinking about that I'm gonna need. And I totally agree with you. So I said that I was going to um, start adding to this envelope again so I'm just gonna start it off with $50 I thought that was a good idea um, I know that I am going to be using like paper plates and things but you know I'm sure it's something that I'm gonna need for the kitchen my mom got me a kitchen aid for Christmas and um, I was like what am I gonna do with this <laughs> I mean like but I guess I'm gonna have to learn how to really cook. I know how to cook, but I don't know how to cook, cook, cook. And that's what I'm gonna learn how to do, especially with that KitchenAid. Last one is mattress and mattress. Um, I have already purchased my mattress. I am waiting to move so that they can deliver it. All right, guys, those are all of my homework sinking funds. I think we are at episode nine, I think this is. And uh, we probably have about one to two more episodes before we actually move. And I'm super excited. Um, I am going to continue on with the homework sinking funds. However, it's going to be more so saving for projects around the house. So I am going to be decorating my house, but I want it decorated like to the T of how I want it. And I mean, I don't want to have to say, okay, well, instead of getting this, I'll just get this because it's less money. No, I every single room is going to be a project. I want to build... Um, a fireplace in my living room if you guys have if you some of you guys might know who styled by Casanova is but she has a like a home decorating channel here on YouTube if you don't know who she is go ahead and check her out but on her um, channel she built a um, a fireplace in her room I thought it was that fireplace is so bomb to me so I want to build that fireplace in my living room and um, I just really want to style it to look so nice and and homey and elegant, beautiful. That's how I want it to look from light fixtures to pictures and paintings and um, my couch. I want it to be good quality. I want it to be comfortable. I want the kitchen. I just want it to be nice. So every room is definitely going to have to be a project. And I'm going to probably have to, you know, look and see what I want and then save the money for it so that I can get it done. But I'm definitely bringing you guys on the journey with me. Thank you so much for watching my video, especially if you watched it to the end. Please do give this video a thumbs up, thumbs up. And watching it to the end definitely helps us out. And if you are not subscribed, I definitely um, encourage you to subscribe, especially if you want to see more videos like this. And I will see you guys in the next video. Go be great. Peace out.